Hey, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and in this video, I want to do a WordPress Visual Builder comparison, specifically about bloat. So I'm going to compare Divi versus Elementor versus Beaver Builder versus Oxygen and show you the bloat loaded in Divi, Elementor, and Beaver Builder. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably care about performance. I'm going to tell you how to optimize your site, even if you're using another builder, not Oxygen, later in this video. Uh, but right now, I just want to crack into the comparison, uh, and then I'll give you more details. Also, there are many more comparisons I'm doing, not just on bloat, but on all sorts of features. So if you're wondering about Oxygen versus any other builder, check the link in the YouTube description for a link to a playlist of all sorts of videos with the comparison. So anyway, I've created a blank page with each of the builders and then simply put in a heading and a button on each page. So here's the Oxygen page, here's the Beaver Builder page, here's the Elementor page, and here is the Divi page. And then I ran a GT Metrics performance report for each of the pages. So here is the performance report for the Divi page. And I ran these on a bad server, so don't worry about the load time here. Just look at the total page size. 1.1 megabyte for an otherwise blank page, just a heading and a button built with Divi. So what is all this? Look at the waterfall chart here. Uh, we have the blank page, which it loads, and then it loads the style.css file. And this file is 596 kilobytes. Now I did this test without gzip compression enabled on all the sites, just to make it totally fair. Um, of course, of course, if you use a gzip compression plugin or you're on a host with gzip compression, it's going to compress these file sizes. But the point is that there shouldn't be this bloat on the page in the first place. Why are you compressing garbage that shouldn't be there? So let's go ahead and take a look in this file for entertainment purposes. And you'll see the CSS that Divi is loading on a page. Again, it contains just a heading and a button. So here it is. And look at my tiny little scroll bar. And I'm going to scroll pretty quick because I don't want this video to take three hours. But you get the idea. Yeah. No words. Okay, let's go to the next file that Divi's loading here. Um, dash icons.min.css. I'm not sure why uh, the WordPress dash icons file is loaded on the front end here. I've only installed Divi. So that's kind of weird. Um, jQuery, okay, every builder uses jQuery, no problem there. jQuery migrate, most of them use it, not a big deal. Um, here's a small file, nothing to worry about. Um, WordPress emojis, okay, blame WordPress, not Divi. And then we've got Divi's JavaScript here. Custom.min.js, 252 kilobytes of JavaScript on a page with... Again, a heading and a button. That effect's pretty cool. You can do that with CSS. I don't think they're using JavaScript for that. Um, okay, here it is. Here's the JavaScript. Uh, again, tiny little scroll bar, so I'm just going to scroll fast because, again, we don't want to be here until next week or a year. And there we go. Now, Divi, it's just really Divi's guilty of loading like two majorly large files, the CSS and the JavaScript. Uh, it's going to be, t you're never going to be able to optimize these files without actually editing the file manually and taking out the bloat. So uh, that's kind of the shame about Divi. Over one megabyte of bloat loaded on this page. And by the way, to make all these tests fair, I disabled Google fonts on every single one of these sites. Um, also, Divi loads another file, a TDF file, which is a font file. Um, these are probably icon fonts. Um, although it's coming from the admin folder, I'm not sure what Divi is doing with this file. It's 90 kilobytes. It obviously is completely unnecessary on this page. So anyway, so Divi is in last place here with 1.1 megabyte for a blank page with a heading and a button. Let's go over to the Elementor blank page. So again, I've got a heading and a button. And of course, I disabled Google Fonts to be fair. No gzip compression. 703 kilobytes, so we're beating Divi, but why is there 703 kilobytes uh, on a blank page? Well, let's take a look. Um, we load style.css. Okay, so for Elementor, because it requires a theme, I installed the most minimal theme for Elementor possible made by Elementor, 
which is the element or hello theme. So it's got a two kilobyte CSS file. Okay, no big deal. We don't care about that. Um, element. Okay, then it loads element or icons, uh, and that's an 11 kilobyte file. Well, we're not using icons on this page, so it just loads that even though we're not using it. Font awesome. .min.css, it's an icon set that's a 30 kilobyte CSS file. We are not using font awesome on this page. Um, then it loads CSS for animations. That's a, like a scroll animations effect. 18 kilobyte CSS file. Well, we're not using animations on this page. Uh, then it loads uh, Elementor frontend.min.css. This is basically a big CSS file, not as bad as Divi, only 90 kilobytes of the front end styles for Elementor's various elements. Um, and then uh, Elementor Pro, I'm using Elementor Pro. I use the Pro version of everything on all these sites. The Divi's paid, Elementor Pro, Oxygen Pro, uh, Beaver Builder Pro with Themer, etc. Um, so anyway, Elementor Pro, this is 181 kilobytes of CSS. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. And one of the great things about Elementor is it gives you a ton of elements to work with, uh, but even if you don't use those elements, it loads all the CSS. Anyways, you can see the scroll bar. There's not as much here as Divi, but still 180 kilobytes. I mean, nutty. Uh, then we have global.css for Elementor's global settings. Okay, no problem, 9.6 kilobytes. Uh, the CSS styles for this page itself, 99 bytes, because, you know, there's almost nothing there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then we load jQuery, migrate, jQuery. Okay, everyone's using that, so no problem. Then jQuery sticky, I guess this is for making element sticky, but we're not doing that on this page. So again, why is it loaded? Um, Elementor's front end JavaScript, 43 kilobytes. I'm not gonna go into this file right now, but we're not using any JavaScript on this page for anything. Then it loads a jQuery position library, um, a dialog JavaScript library, waypoints, and then the big violator, jQuery swiper. This is for the swiper slider library. So if you add a slider to your page, you would, of course, need this. But we don't have a slider on the page, so this, of course, should not be loaded. And then uh, Elementor frontend.min.js, another 36 kilobytes. For a total of 703 kilobytes loaded by this page with a heading and a button. So doing better than Divi, but wow. Okay, let's move to Beaver Builder. So on this page, I installed Beaver Builder, added a heading and button, and I'm using Beaver Builder theme. That's like the blank, lightweight default theme with Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer because Divi is a theme. Elementor has some themer functionality. Oxygen has full visual control of every aspect of what the theme would do. So fair comparison. Okay, let's take a look at the performance report for the page built with Beaver Builder. And it does much better, still 317 kilobytes versus Elementor 700 and Divi's one megabyte. Let's take a look at what's being loaded here. And okay, we load the uh, cache for this page, 19 kilobytes. It seems a little excessive, but okay, no big deal. Um, we load fontawesome.css. Uh, we're not using font awesome on this page. We're not using icon fonts on this page at all. That should not be loaded. Uh, we're loading Magnific pop-up, but we're not using a pop-up on this page. Beaver Builder themes base styles, which are 50 kilobytes. Um, the Beaver Builder theme skin, just 44 kilobytes. jQuery, no big deal. jQuery migrate, no big deal. Um, WP emojis, that's it's WordPress's fault, not Beaver Builder's fault. Um, JavaScript. JavaScript for this, it's bizarre because we're not using any JS on that page. Uh, and then jQuery, magnific pop-up, 20.5 kilobytes. Uh, Beaver Builder theme, 18.3 kilobytes. So Beaver Builder, uh, if you weren't using Beaver Builder theme, would actually be pretty lightweight uh, and do pretty well. Um, the plugin is loading some dumb stuff like magnific pop-up, but really, Beaver Builder is pretty good in terms of bloat. I mean, jQuery here is 100 kilobytes, so if we took that out, this would really be like a 200 kilobyte page. It's not perfect, it does load stuff it shouldn't, but it certainly isn't an egregious violator the way Elementor uh, or Divi is. Now, the point of this video is to convince you to buy Oxygen, so let's take a look at the Oxygen blank page. And here we go, total page size 122 kilobytes, 
Uh, 94.9 kilobytes of that is jQuery, uh, which everyone's using anyway. We load our blank oxygen page, the heading and the button, oxygen CSS, which is 14.3 kilobytes, universals.css, which is like the global styles you set up, like your global fonts, global colors, that kind of thing, 5.9 kilobytes, and the CSS for the page, 196 bytes. Notice that there is nothing loaded that isn't necessary uh, to display this page other than a couple kilobytes of default styles. Uh, we're not loading anything about pop-ups or menus or animations or anything that's not used on this page because we don't use that on this page. Now, if we open this page in Oxygen and add it in a scroll animation, then guess what? The code for scroll animations would be loaded. But if we're not using it, it isn't loaded. So we got six total HTTP requests here versus 15 with Beaver, 19 with Elementor, and 12 with Divi, although these are large files, which is not good. Um, okay, that is what I wanted to show. The bloat loaded by the other builders that is not loaded in Oxygen. Oxygen outputs much cleaner code. Now, if you want to optimize a site that you build with WordPress, regardless of how you build it, Oxygen, Visual Builder, a theme, uh, Visual Composer even, anything on Theme Forest, there are a lot of bloated themes out there. Um, watch the video on how to speed up a WordPress website, which I've linked to in the video description here, because that is the definitive guide to getting good performance with WordPress, regardless of how you build your site. It's going to teach you how to actually read one of these waterfall charts, identify the bloat on your page, including bloat loaded by plugins, eliminate the unnecessary bloat, compress your images, and then check your web hosting provider to make sure it is gzipping the stuff, which was not shown in this video, and is delivering the page to the end user quickly. Um, now, another thing I want to note is that I'm going to do many more comparisons, and you're going to find a link in this video description to a YouTube playlist with those comparisons, where I compare Oxygen versus Elementor versus Beaver versus Divi um, across many features, not just performance. Now, there is one more thing I want to show in this video, which is the HTML output. I'm just going to do it very quickly. Um, here, let's do Chrome Inspect Element. And here is the heading and the button in Oxygen. Uh, here is the HTML output. We've got body, section, div, the section, a wrap, the heading, and the button. Uh, two levels of nesting, which is what you would want for HTML elements in a section constrained to a specific width. That's good clean code. Um, here is Beaver Builder's HTML output. I mean, I'm not going to count right now how many levels of nesting this is, but oh my wow. And Elementor is much the same. Massive nesting. And Divi, there's a bit of nesting. It's not so bad. It's somewhere between oxygen and, well, eh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't remember it being this bad. Um, anyway, I did another video on this titled Divception uh, when Austin 2.0 first came out. And this video got circulated around uh, quite a good bit, and it was quickly censored from the other official page builder Facebook groups. Uh, and also, this wasn't really talked about by the typical uh, people that typically are making tutorials on page builders. And the reason is they all get affiliate commissions. Uh, for referring sales to Elementor or Divi. I believe Beaver Builder has an affiliate program too, but I'm not sure. Uh, whereas Oxygen does not have an affiliate program. We do not pay people to refer a sale to Oxygen. We did it one time very briefly, uh, and then we quickly shut the affiliate program down. So nobody who is recommending Oxygen uh, is getting paid based on whether or not you buy Oxygen. We do buy ads for Oxygen, We'll pay people to actually review auction, upload a sponsored video, but they're not getting paid whether or not you buy it, whereas they are with the other builders. So anyway, uh, I am going to make many more videos comparing Oxygen versus the competition. The reason I mentioned the competition is because we're not scared of the competition. We're happy to talk about what the competition does, what Oxygen does, and what Oxygen's strengths are. And if the competition wants to talk about their strengths versus Oxygen, we would love for them to do that, but I think they would honestly just rather not mention Oxygen 
because why would they give us free airtime? Um, anyway, uh, that said, if you are interested to know what other users of other builders think versus Oxygen, go on Facebook, ask in the WordPress groups. There are a ton of people that are using Oxygen and the other builders. Come in our Facebook group, search the official Oxygen Facebook group or official Oxygen user group on Facebook, join that and ask people's thoughts on the other builders. We don't censor uh, anything like that out of our group. So we are happy to have an open discussion. And you can also probably ask in the unofficial groups for the other visual builders. You could ask in the official group, but your post might get deleted. That's been uh, what my experience has been in the past when people have brought up uh, Oxygen, even ask a question about it in the other groups. Anyway, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and thank you very much for watching.